What is going on you guys, my name is Akim and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, specifically, we're going to be talking about the new map that has been leaked in Red Dead Redemption 2. If you guys enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button. Also, make sure you subscribe if you're brand new and let's just jump straight into it. So, what's actually been leaked is the official map for the game. As you can see on the screen right now, this is what has been leaked. Um, it was actually leaked by, I'm sure it was leaked by a hacker. I'm sure it was leaked on Instagram firstly. And then what's happened is obviously it spiraled through the internet and everybody's got their hands on it. I'm not sure if Rockstar are obviously <laughs> too happy about this being leaked, but we've been waiting the game for the game long enough. So at least we deserve to see the map before it comes out. Um, fingers crossed the map is as big as the GTA 5 map. That map is massive. So if it's as big as that, that's even better because obviously in GTA 5, when you're not doing missions, all you can do is just go around, cruise around the map and just get into all sorts of trouble and sorts of fun. So fingers crossed, this is as creative and as interactive as a GTA 5 map. So unfortunately, one thing that um, a lot of people have said is that Mexico is not actually on the map. Um, a lot of people were actually quite upset about this as they thought Mexico may have been actually included into uh, the map. But um, if I know Rockstar enough, I have a fingers crossed they should release a DLC for Mexico. Um, I don't know, I have a feeling they, they'll end up doing that, usually they, they do that with these kind of games, so usually it's such a big game and if there's demand for it, they'll definitely create it. So if you guys want to see the Mexico DLC, let me in the comments below, it's something I'd be loving to look at, I'd love to see what would be Mexico back in that time, see kind of what Mexico's like. The next thing I'm going to actually talk about is the weapons in Red Dead Redemption. There's been confirmed 14 different rifles, okay, so it's a beautiful long list of different weapons available and that's just the rifles. Um, these include shotguns snipers and a variation of different bolt action guns so similar to the previous red dead redemption i'm not sure there'll be much difference one weapon that's actually um kind of stuck in the back of my head is a sworn off shotgun i have a feeling that'll be the main choice for a lot of people who play the game um reason for that is that it's such a crazy weapon so close action a lot of damage and a lot of blood <laughs> another bunch of weapons that are actually available are the revolvers and pistols me personally i prefer pistols to find them more kind of discreet and easy to hide and Revolvers, they put a lot of time and effort into revolvers when they make these kind of old western games. So I think the revolvers will also be a really, really popular choice. So away from weapons, there'll also be stuff like axes and different kind of bows and throwables, as well as the uh, old traditional lasso, tie someone up, chuck them on the, tra on the train tracks, and throwing knives as well, which I think will also be very popular. Something else I'm really interested about is the horses in Red Dead Redemption. There's gonna be 19 different breeds of horses. If you guys aren't familiar with Rockstar's games, a lot of Rockstar's games, they implement vehicles, obviously GTA 5, GTA 4, etc. The vehicle and the driving mechanics is amazing, almost like a individual driving game. So, you see when they implement the horses in, fingers crossed, these horses should have different abilities and different kinds of power and should handle and feel fun. <laughs> That's the whole point of the game. Um, I remember the previous gen, I used to jump on the horse, used to get a bit tedious, it felt kind of robotic, but fingers crossed in this, they feel amazing. So that kind of wraps up today's video. If you guys want to see more Red Dead Redemption videos, make sure you leave a like on the video, comment below what you think of the Mexico DLC, and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out.